What? Look, we did everything. Even with this one procedure, I don't think it'll work. But telling them he won't make it? I won't let you. Fine, then you can do it. No, I don't mean that. It's just, this is the King of Potopia we're talking about. Imagine if that was your husband. <sighs> You're right. We'll tell them the result in a week. A week? It will give us time to think about it. Oh, and I'm here. Would you mind changing the sailing bag for me? Uh, sure. All right, thank you. Maybe she's right. Honestly, I just don't get girls in their interests these days. Hmm? Who could that be? Hello, Fern. What brings you here? Hello, Your Highness. Is Florence here? I haven't seen her at school all day, so I'm just here to drop off her homework. Oh yes, Florence is here. She's... Um... She's what? Oh, I think she's in her room. Come on right in, dear. Thank you. Oh, Fern. Alice, what are you doing here? Well, what are you doing here? I came to see Florence to see how she's doing. I didn't see her all the day in school, so I'm also here to drop off her homework. Oh, um, can I tell you something? Is this about Florence? Uh, yeah. She's been really upset about her dad lately. Lately? It hasn't even been a day yet. Yeah, well, she's close with her father. She hasn't been in the best mood all day, so she skipped school. What do you mean, not in the best mood? Well, if you count sobbing on her bed as a bad mood, then that's what I mean. Oh... I need to go talk to her. Are you sure? I'm positive. I have a special connection and friendship with her. Well, it's worth a shot. If you need me, I'll be outside. Okay. <sighs> this can't be good. I thought I told you to- Fern! What are you doing here? I came to see you. Are you okay? What's going on? <sighs> Just everything. Oh. Maybe if you talk about it, you'll feel better. <sighs> if you insist. I'm just worried about my dad. I've been close to him pretty much throughout my whole life. And seeing him in a hospital bed, it, it just breaks my heart. Oh. I know how you feel. No, you don't. Your father has never been stabbed to death before. Listen, your father isn't dead. He's just unconscious. And I do know how you feel. My dad left me when I was 10. Really? Yeah, and so did my mom. You're lucky to have such great parents that care about you and love about you. All I've got is a servant and a pet cricket. I mean, not that they're terrible or anything, but it would just be nice to spend some more time with my parents. And your dad will be okay. Really? I know so. Thank you for trying to cheer me up. You know what? I will be positive. I'll stay strong. For my dad. Good going, girl. Now let's get you dressed up and clean up all these used tissues. I think that was the last of them. Yep. Oh, and here's your homework. Thanks. How's everything going? Oh, uh, everything's fine. Yeah, all thanks to Fern. Yay. Girls? Yes, your majesty? Yes, mom? We have to get to the hospital. Why? Is something wrong with dad? No, 
actually, there's nothing wrong. What are you talking about? I'm trying to say that there's nothing wrong with him. In fact, I think he might be well. What? The conversation on the phone wasn't much. I only heard what I could make out. They just told us to come to the hospital right away. Come on, girls. Well, don't leave me out of the conversation. <gasps> I don't believe it. It's not even logically possible. This is incredible. My husband, my father, is alive? Hello, I see you've all gotten my message. Fern? Oh, Dad, I was so worried about you. I missed you too, sweetie. But how? Well, it seems miraculous, but we were able to save him. My nurse found him sitting up on bed, seemingly unharmed. But how? He was stabbed right in the ribcage. I know that, but it just seemed miraculous enough that it healed on its own. Now I know this may seem ridiculous, but it just happened. A miracle is what it is. This is amazing. Thank you so much, doctor. No problem, it was my pleasure. We just need to keep him in the hospital for a few hours before we can send him home. Okay, and again, thank you so much. You saved my husband. No problem, ma'am. Well, I'll leave all of you alone. Oh, James. I love you so much. I love you too, Rachel. So cute. <laughs> Why don't we get them some alone time? Good idea. Let's go. Florence, what is all this? I made you some nice hot soup. Sweetheart, I already told you, I'm fine. Well, yeah, but I want to make you a welcome back meal. Here, try it. Well, if you insist. Who could that be? I'll get it. Hello, Florence. Drake, what are you doing here? I have something to tell you. May I come in? Oh, yes, of course. Cool. So, what did you want to tell me? Oh, um, I know it may not be what you expected, but the fall formal dance is tomorrow, and I thought maybe you and I could go together. Really? With me? Who's at the door? Oh, just a friend. All right. Uh, sorry, my dad. It's all right. Well, anyways, of course I'll go with you. Is that why you want to ask me here? Yeah. I wouldn't want my ex-girlfriend knowing about this. She wouldn't be too eager about the idea of me going out with you, so I decided that we should keep our relationship a secret. I would love that. So, I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, and um, I heard about your dad. How is he? Oh, he's doing much better. Thank you. Hey, it's the least I could do. Well, gotta run. Bye! Are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Just fine. This soup is absolutely delightful. Where did you get this? Oh, uh, I made it, actually. Well, thank you, sweetheart. No problem. Okay, you know the plan. We're just here to watch out for Jules. Well, actually... Florence! Um, sorry, he asked me. We'll talk in a bit, okay? Hello, Drake. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. So, may I have this dance? Of course. Cool. 
find Jules. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, hey Fern. I'm so glad you could make it. Same. You look really pretty. So do you. Mm-hmm. Both of you are. Especially my precious angel. <laughs> oh, stop it. Yeah, you two are an amazing couple. Thanks. So, who's your guy? What? Well, all the girls are going with the guys. You must have somebody. Where is he? Does he go to our school? Oh, uh, I don't have a guy. What? You came here alone? Mm-hmm. Came to look out for you. Because you two are such an amazing couple. Oh! <laughs> okay, I guess that makes more sense. Shall we continue dancing, babe? Of course, baby. Mwah. Yeah, I'll be at the snack bar. See you later, you crazy lovebirds. See ya! <sighs> She's right. Why don't I have a guy? I mean, I'm the total package. Am I getting stale? Come on, Alice. I'm coming. Just nothing. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Be right back. Wait, what happened to her accent? Look, I don't want to know if I risk it. We have to, but nobody would understand. No one at all. I do. I don't care one bit. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course. I just can't get the feeling that... that... That what? Ugh. Why does it even matter? The feeling is just undeniable. I thought you knew this whole time. I thought you did too, but I was too scared. Me too. I just... I don't know if I have the all... Having trouble with your grammar? <laughs> is it that obvious? Yeah. It is. You're not only pretty on the outside, but you're also smart and pretty on the inside. And you may not be the smart one that I expected, but I don't care. <laughs> but I'm still not sure if... <gasps> Come here! What, what? What is it? Shh! What the tail? It's true. I believe it is. I... I like you. A lot. Yeah. Me too. I really like you. As in, like, like you. <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, really? That's a first. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? I love you, Alice Baxter. I love you more. Never in my life I would expect- I know, this is just- that is unbelievable is what it is. Come on, we should leave them alone. <gasps> it's not what it looks like. You don't have to explain. I heard everything. Why didn't you guys tell me earlier you were a couple? We've been keeping it a secret. We... We started dating yesterday. Well, that's the first time you ever said, I like you. But we weren't sure to tell you, and I, I don't know if you like it or not, but- No, it's okay. I'm glad you could be completely honest. But... Uh, never mind. Uh, I have a boyfriend. Since when did she have a boyfriend? Did we miss something? left. He left without me.
me. That was anticlimactic. What? Oh, Drake, where, where have you been? You took a while, so I came out for fresh air. Um, uh, I just had something to tell you. Well, it's pretty obvious, but I had fun tonight. Yeah, me too. So, uh, why did your voice change? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Of course I will. Fine. <clears throat> so, I was born in a place where everyone would use an accent. I didn't really adapt it that much, so my parents told me to use it a fake accent when I'm out and about. Unless if I'm talking with my family or close friends. <laughs> Don't worry, you can trust me. I'll keep your secret. <laughs> Thanks. So, what was the other thing you wanted to tell me? Well, I don't know how to put it this way. I mean, we've only know known each other for a short time, but... I feel like we have something. It, it just feels like destiny. But... Uh... Will you be my girlfriend? <gasps> well? Does this answer your question? Yes. It does.